Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today I have an announcement to make about the Antminer E3. It's a GPU killer miner supposed to compete against GPUs. It was made by Bitmain and it can mine 180 mega hashes per second on Ethereum algorithms. So we're gonna take a look at the pricing for, you know, how much it costs to buy one. We're gonna take a look at the electricity cost and uh, any other running costs involved. We're also gonna take a look at uh, other options like comparing it to other video cards performance. So here it is, the Antminer E3 batch 1, so the first batch. It's gonna arrive on July. It's $800, 13 kilos, which is a lot. This looks like a double S9, so two S9 together. That's quite big for only 180 mega hashes per second on Ethereum miner. Now, just for comparison, I've seen AMD cards and some other you know nvidia cards that can run pretty high mega hashes per second on ethereum and they don't have to be this big and they don't have to consume so much power so it consumes 800 watts which is interesting because it's so big it has two fans but only 800 watts it's it's a little different than what we used to see uh usually it came out um i think yesterday so it's something very very new and it's available right now people can buy up to five on bitmain and probably also on bitcoinmerch.com soon let's go ahead and take a look at other video cards to kind of comparison of uh, how much watt it takes but before we do that let's just do a little bit of calculation so let's see how much watts it takes per mega hash so we have 800 watts divided by 180 we're consuming about 4.4 watts per mega hashes. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that number and compare it to a regular video card or uh, one of those new video cards that are dedicated for mining. For comparison, actually find the mining RX 470 from Asus. It's a specific video card for mining. It actually can make about 30 mega hashes per second after I checked it, some comments and people testing it. And it takes about 160 watts. Now when I calculate 160 watts, and divided by 30 mega hash per second we take we're getting about 5.3 watts per mega hash so it's a little more than the ant miner but don't forget it's a smaller package and it also only costs 400 bucks so there it's hard to kind of compare them because the rx 470 can mine multiple you know multiple coins and stuff the mining rig from bitmain can only mine ethereum miner so I'm trying to kind of compare it and kind of give you guys an idea of that compared to a GPU. So is it a GPU killer? No, it's not because it can only mine one type of coin and there's so many types of algorithms right now that it's not going to make it or break it for the GPU market. It, the price the price changes the, for the coins are changing more the the profit and stuff than you know those new mining rigs are coming up so it's still not gonna kill the GPU market so it's definitely not gonna kill the CPU or the GPU market but it's definitely another option for to mine and diverse your you know mining portfolio or farm that you have and let's take a look at mining performance and profit the bitmain e3 mining calculation let's take a look so the income is five dollars per day electricity cost because i pay 20 cents per kilowatt is three four dollars so the profit is only a dollar fifty a day so at seventy dollars a month it might take a while for the profits to come in and also don't forget that because they are releasing those miners the difficulty goes up so that number might be even lower so it might take maybe you know two years to pay off this kind of card if you have very cheap electricity that actually might take much less maybe five six months so it really depends on how much electricity you pay dagger harish moto is the name of the algorithm it's using to mine and this is the only algorithm we can make as you can see you know when you look at the at the video card it can mine multiple ones so let's kind of compare it to the uh, 470, the RX 470 that we looked before and kind of take a look at profits and stuff. So the profit is super low with the RX 470, it takes more power and it mines less. Um, but as you can see, it can mine multiple coins, multiple type of coins, equal hash and the Ethereum miner. So you can mine multiple coins and that's a little bit more advantage over the 
E3 GPU killer. If we look at Ethereum mining difficulty, you can see that uh, it's definitely increasing. This is three months ago. So from 1.9 to 3.1. So, you know, the difficulty got 30%. So every three months, we expect about 30% less efficiency on those Antminer E3. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave that like button and then forget to subscribe and leave that notification so you can actually see when I make a new video. I try my best to have, you know, the newest stuff on Bitcoin mining uh, delivered to you. And uh, also don't forget to bitcoinmerch.com. Um, don't forget our website. We have all those cool shirts that are designed by me and some other Bitcoin equipment that you can buy, Bitcoin mining equipment, wallets, and stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.